Welcome to The Bottom Line. I'm Pastor Rick Utzi from Maranatha Community Fellowship in Plain City, Ohio. There were five meteorologists that were in Russia way out in the remote, way up north of Moscow. I mean, it's so remote, it's on an island. Um, the only way they can get supplies is if when a ship comes by every so often. And they were trapped. They were up there, they were trapped by polar bears. And there, they said there were over 10 polar bears that decided to just camp around their camp. And so they couldn't leave. They couldn't go out of the station for two weeks because they were running out of flares that they used to scare bears away. And they had little detonation devices to scare them away, but they were running out of all these things. And so here they are holed up in a cabin with really no way out because you're not allowed shooting the polar bears because they're endangered species in Russia. And so they did have, you know, access to a satellite phone so they could make calls and try and see, hey, when is the next supply ship coming? And they said it wasn't scheduled for a month. And so what do you do in this situation? Well, it so happened there was another research ship with scientists on it that made a detour that could actually come through and they scared the bears away you know, with their helicopter. And so it all turned out in the end. But for two weeks, you know, here you are wondering what you're going to do. And Paul kind of had the same thing happen to him, not with polar bears. And he doesn't really get specific, but he says in 2 Corinthians 1, verse 8, We think you ought to know, dear brothers and sisters, about the trouble we went through in the province of Asia. We were crushed and overwhelmed beyond our ability to endure. And we thought we would never live through it. In fact, we expected to die. And so you can see before I read the rest, you can see here that Paul was really like in some kind of trouble, right? I mean, it, it was like crushing. It was like they thought they were going to die. And, and so here he is. What's he going to do? And. Why does God allow things like that to happen? I mean, does he fall asleep at the wheel? You know, does he not care? You know, maybe he's not even able to prevent these things from happening. Is that why he allowed Paul to go through what he went through? And he gives us the answer in the next verse, in verse 9. It says, in fact, uh, he says, we expected to die, but as a result, we stopped relying on ourselves and learned to rely only on God. And so here was the lesson. He's like, you know, so many times we can just buzz through life on cruise control, comfortable, we can do it on our own, we don't need to rely on God, we can just, bam, get through, get through life. And God knows that when we do that, we, we're missing our trust and reliance on Him. And so Paul's saying, I learned through that circumstance that I need to quit relying on myself and my power and my success and my strength, I need to rely on God who is much more capable. He knows what's going on. He is able. And listen to what it says. It says, and he did rescue us from mortal danger and he will rescue us again. We have placed our confidence in him. They placed their confidence in the one who up in verse 9 says that they rely on God who raises the dead. So even if, Paul's thinking in his mind, I'm sure, even if I die, God is able, has the power to raise me from the dead to live forever and ever with him. And not only can he raise us physically, but he wants to raise all of us spiritually, right? We were dead in our sins, and, and Jesus Christ came to, to raise us from that life of darkness and and transfer us in the kingdom of his son Jesus Christ and so that is what God wants he wants to save our souls and that is what's so important and is that what is important in your life and my life are we learning and have we trusted in Jesus Christ so here's the bottom line God wants us to trust in him and it goes on to say and here's what I want to end with in verse 11 Paul said this is critical and you are helping us by praying for us it is a help to pray for people. It's not, well, I guess I could pray for him or I can only pray for him. No, it is a help to pray for those in need. Have you prayed for those who don't know Christ for salvation for their souls? Have you prayed for those who are going through struggles who know Christ so that their faith would remain strong? 
Let's pray. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Bottom Line.